Welcome to Banska Stiavnica, a town in central Slovakia, which sits in the middle of an immense caldera, which was created by the collapse of a huge volcano. So big, in fact, that parts of the broken caldera are called the Stiavnica Mountains, which are not all visible today because it is cloudy and we're at high altitude. But maybe it will clear up uh, a bit later on today as we continue exploring the town which has a population of 10,000 inhabitants. But Steven, Stevnica used to have almost four times that amount of people back when the town was the main producer of silver and gold for the Kingdom of Hungary. The town of Banska Stiavnica is the oldest mining town in Slovakia. And there's even evidence going back to the third century that the Celtic people had done some mining here. And then later between the 10th and 11th century, Slavs settled into the area. And they called this land Terra Benensium, which meant land of miners. And then in the 13th century, uh, the word had gone out about the abundance of minerals here and many skilled German workers had uh, came to the area for uh, either employment or business opportunities. At which point uh, they named it to something that had more of a German meaning, uh, Schemnitz then uh, the name became Stiavnica which I'm pronouncing it in the uh, English way of reading the word but the actual pronunciation if I remember correctly is like Stiavschnika or which closely resembles how the Germans uh, were calling it during the Ottoman Wars the Turks made several e efforts to conquer the mining towns here in Slovakia. And this led to the construction of castles to protect the area. This is Stari Zamok which means old castle. It is the old castle because it was previously a parish church prior to the Turkish invasion, but was then uh, converted into a military fortress to protect the town. And here we have Novi Zamok, Newcastle, which was built in addition to the old castle to provide more protection to the town by having a fortification on the other side of Stiavnik.
Then in the early 17th century, the town became uh, also a center for mining innovation. It was one of the first places to use uh, gunpowder for mining. It was used to drain water from the flooded mines using a sophisticated system of water reservoirs and channels called Tajchi. That same water system was used for energy for the town. And because of this innovation and all the intelligent people that were um, contributing to the mining here, there was a mining school opened here, the first in the Kingdom of Hungary. And also at the time, this was the first technical university in Europe. And here is the old mining school. So this was the same time that Stiavnica had a population of 23,000 people and 40,000 including the surrounding area. But since the town was so reliant on the uh, mining activities, when the mines began to dry up, most people ended up leaving the town because of lack of employment opportunities. So today, Stiavnica is mostly a uh, recreational town centered around tourism because of its rich cultural heritage and the fact that uh, the old downtown center with its rich medieval history is very well preserved and is in fact uh, was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1993. Here we have the Stiavnica Cavalry, which is a religious uh, pilgrimage site. There are, I believe, 17 different stops here, different little chapels where um, you stop to pray and remember different events in the life of Jesus. We start at the bottom. And you, one by one, doing all the stops, make your way to the very top where you are then rewarded with, with some beautiful views of the town. So I hope you enjoyed this tour in the history of Banska Stiavnica. Definitely a cool town worth visiting in western slash eastern Slovakia. Speaking of which, there are some other neat, interesting towns with uh, Lots of history and cool things to see in Western and Eastern Slovakia. Some of which I've also made videos of and that are available on this channel, such as uh, Nitra, uh, Banska, Bistrika, 
and of course Bratislava as well as a longer video of my journey bicycling through Western Slovakia which gives you a really good idea of what things look like outside of the towns and yeah it's a very beautiful country especially here in the more eastern part uh, which is very mountainous so I was here in Slovakia as part of a larger journey bicycling from uh, through central and eastern Europe and before that I bicycled from Cape Town South Africa to Nairobi Kenya so bicycling through half of Africa and before that from Canada where I'm from all the way to southern Patagonia in Argentina and all those videos are available on this same YouTube channel hum of the earth and if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and everything that I got to see and do I have that available over on my website follow the hum of the earth.com where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of these places and if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures bicycling through Central and Eastern Europe you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out so that's gonna do it I hope you guys enjoyed until next time have a good one